My baked tofu recipe is so easy to make and comes out incredibly delicious. I'm Justin from Cooking with Coit. I specialize in clean comfort cooking. And if you love this video, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. Let's get started. Let's first go over all the ingredients you need to make this recipe. Tofu, cornstarch, garlic powder, olive oil, and soy sauce. And the special cooking equipment you're gonna need is a mixing bowl and a large extra cutting board that's gonna give you some good weight. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna do for this recipe is to drain and rinse our tofu. So I'm first gonna cut this guy open. As you're gonna see, it is packaged with a lot of water inside. So I am gonna go off camera now and just drain this and bring it right back. All right, so this is how the tofu is gonna look when you take it out of the packaging. It's like a big block. And the tofu that I bought, just so you guys know, is the firm tofu. I suggest you get the firm tofu. I think if you're getting the less firm tofu, it's gonna kind of fall apart when you cut it into cubes, so stay with firm. All right guys, so the next thing we need to do is to cut this block of tofu in half. I'm going to flip it on its side and then cut it in half this way. And I'm gonna show you why I'm doing it this way. So I'm gonna try to keep the pieces as equally in thickness as I can. And now you should have two equally thick pieces of tofu. Next, we need to squeeze as much water out of this tofu as possible. Obviously you saw when you opened your tofu is sitting in a lot of water. A lot of that water has been absorbed inside of the tofu and now we need to try to get as much of it out as possible. So there is a very good method for this. Give me one second, I gotta grab something. So what I want you guys to do is to take a couple sheets of paper towels and fold them over just like this. And then we are going to take our tofu blocks put them right on top, just like this. I'm actually gonna flip them back over so that the cut side is facing down. So now let's put another uh, sheet of paper towels right on top. I am going to grab the heavy cutting board that I showed you at the top of the video and put it right here. And now we just wanna apply some more weight on top of this. So you can grab anything that's heavy in your kitchen that you feel like will stay balanced. So for me, that's this cast iron pot. This is a really good one. Maybe I'll grab my olive oil and just sit it right on top here too. We just wanna make sure it doesn't fall. And now we're gonna let this sit just like this for 20 minutes. And during that time, a lot of water is gonna be squeezed out of the tofu and into the paper towels. All right guys, it's been 20 minutes now. So let's take the weight off of the tofu. Oh yeah. So check this out. So you can see how much liquid these paper towels have absorbed. So let's remove the paper towels entirely here. All right, so now we wanna cube the tofu. So we are going to cut it into equal lengths here. I think the perfect size is just about an inch in length. I'm gonna do the same on my second slab. And now I'm going to turn each of the slabs the other direction so that we can finish the cubes. And again, we wanna cut about an inch in this way. And what you should be left with are cubes about this size. All right, guys, so now we are going to carefully transfer our tofu into this mixing bowl. And when I say careful, I mean careful, because if you aren't careful, it's gonna start to fall apart. And now we're going to work on our seasoning and marinade. The first thing we're gonna do is add a teaspoon of garlic powder. Next, we're going to add a tablespoon of cornstarch. And the cornstarch is going to serve a very important function here. It is going to allow the tofu to get nice and crispy on the outside. Next, we're going to add olive oil. So this is gonna be one tablespoon. And now we're going to add two tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm actually using a tamari, which is gluten-free soy sauce. Uh, that's just because this is what we have in the house, but you can use any kind of soy sauce that you have. And next, all we need to do is to gently mix this up so that all of the seasoning and the liquids are combined with the tofu all over. But just be really gentle so you don't break the tofu too much. I'm using a nice uh, small silicone spatula and I really suggest these. This is the perfect tool for this. Did you mention preheating? <laughs> uh, oh, my cameraman Amon just reminded me I didn't tell you guys about preheating the oven. I've been so good lately and I just failed you. So you guys need to preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm so sorry I forgot to tell you if you're mid prep right now and you didn't do it because I didn't tell you to, I'm sorry. 400 degrees Fahrenheit. All right guys, so this is exactly what it should look like right at this time. All right guys, so now we are going to transfer our uh, prep tofu and put it onto a sheet pan. And the reason why I'm not just dumping it out all on top of the sheet pan is because if I do that, all of the liquids at the bottom are gonna go into the pan and I don't really wanna have a lot of excess liquid at the bottom. 
So just very carefully transfer it over with your hands. I also like to give it a little bit of room to breathe so that the uh, tofu gets nice and crispy in the oven. I also just really like to work with my hands and get my hands into the food, especially with tofu because it's got such an interesting texture. So it's kind of fun to do it this way. I also really love tofu. I don't think I've even mentioned it in this video yet. I don't know if you guys have had a lot of tofu. Um, please let me know in the comments below if you have and you know what tofu recipes you guys love. I just love how it just assumes the flavor of whatever you put on it. When tofu's in miso soup, I just love how it absorbs that really great broth. And in this recipe, it's going to be absorbing the garlic powder and the soy sauce really well. All right, now we're going to transfer this tofu into the oven and cook it at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for anywhere between 25 and 30 minutes. All right, guys, we're about halfway through the cooking time and I just wanna show you how we're doing. So check this out. Look at how beautiful this tofu is browning up. And so what I'm gonna do now is just take my spatula again and just move it around a little bit so that we just kind of give it a little bit of a toss and you don't have to worry about, you know, spreading it out again, having it all breathe really well. They might kind of like stick a little bit to the pan and that's okay, it's not gonna happen a lot. And once you feel like everything's been moved a little, we're just gonna pop them back in for the rest of our cooking time, which should be just about another 12 minutes. All right guys, the 25 minute timer just finished. Let's see how we did. Whoa, all right. Check this out. This is exactly what we wanted. This tofu looks incredibly delicious. It's got that nice crispy exterior with a perfectly tender inside. I cannot wait to give this a try. But before I do, if you love this recipe and you wanna see more just like it, check out my Healthy Recipes playlist. Okay, let's see how we did. All right, so let me show you how I like to garnish my baked tofu. So first, I take a little bit of green onions. Uh, I've already sliced these thin and just kind of sprinkle them right on top. And then I take a little bit of sesame seeds, sprinkle these guys on, and there we go. This looks so good. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to take a bite. This baked tofu recipe is so good because it gives you such a nice break on meat, but you don't have to sacrifice the flavor. So I hope you guys make this one. I know you're gonna love it. See you in the next video.